All right, in section 5.5, when we're talking about domain and range, there is a certain type of notation that would, might be new to you, which some of you said you had trouble with, and it's called set notation. So let's say that we have a graph. Just draw a quick sketch of a graph over here. And I have this as my graph. Okay. And this top value, let's say this is 8. And let's say this value right here is 1. And this x value right here is 10, and this x value is negative 2. Okay? So if you could just copy that, that sketch of that graph out there. We will talk about domain and range. And I will connect for you what set notation is. <clears throat> so we talked about domain, and let's use green for domain here on the graph. So the domain is all values of x that would make sense for the graph or with, that are included in the graph. So we can see that x values, everything from negative 2 all the way to 10 and including negative 2 and including 10. Okay, so up to this point, what I'm hoping that you understand is because it's a connected, uh, it's a continuous line, this graph, and not discrete points, you're going to say the domain is all values between negative 2 and 10, and then you might, you should say inclusive. And what that means is we include negative 2 as part of those that uh, domain, and we include 10 as part of that domain. Okay? Just give me a thumbs up or a nod if that makes sense so far. Okay? This is where you should be at. You should be right here. <clears throat> okay. So set notation, uh, let's say that this is the variable x, okay? Now set notation for domain, what I would like you to do is to put a capital D equals, right? And these braces here, these funny brackets are often associated with domain and range, so I want you to write those, whether the textbook does it or not, it doesn't really matter, this is what I need you to do. So these funny little brackets, which might take some practice, but set notation includes your variable, and it includes some kind of communication as to what uh, you know values for that variable are in the domain. So this is what you do. You put you leave some space here. Put x. Okay. So the domain is all values of x, and you put whatever variable variable this is in the question. In this case, we're just dealing with x. So it's values of x. Now, how do we say this in uh, algebraic or mathematical notation. Well, you say x values are greater than or equal to, and I'm reading from x here, greater than or equal to, if you read it left, negative 2. Everything that's bigger than negative 2, which makes sense, but there is a point where we have to stop. So you would say at the same time x is also less than, if you read it to the right, it's also less than or equal to what? 10. Okay? And this is set notation. And what you're communicating here is that all values for x would be all the values between negative 2 and 10 and inclusive with the little e or equal to sign under there. Okay? All right? Now, if you read it from the middle, it makes sense. x greater than negative 2 and equal to negative 2, you read it that way. Or if you read it this way, x is less than 10, or equal to 10. See that? Now, you don't have to write it exactly in that order from now on. You don't have to put the x and then read from the middle. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, just that back there. Okay. So let me show you what to do in the range then. The range, we won't write out the words, but it's all values between, in red, let's do, between 1 and 8, inclusive. See that? So how do we do that? Well, what's the, the bottom, what's the least, the, the lowest range value is 1. So put 1, and then you always put this sign, okay, so less than sign, reading it from left to right, and if it includes this value, you put the little equal under there. You put the variable that the range um, represents, so that's y, so we'll put y there. Y is also less than or equal to what's the upper boundary or the upper limit? 8. 
Okay? So that's how you would write the range in set notation. Okay, one more example. Let's do one more example on this page. And let's say um, we have this. This is 2 and 11. And I have a line here. But it looks like this. And this is uh, 1 and 3. Okay. <clears throat> now this is going to be a little bit different. Because, what did you just say? Because 2 is not included. 2 is not included in the domain. And 2 is not included, uh, well, I guess 2 is included in the range, right? But 2 is not included in the domain. 3 is not included in the range. Okay? So, for this one, we would say domain equals everything from 2 to 11. We're dealing with x here. But I'm not including 2. So, look at I'm not going to put this little equal sign there. Because x is not equal to 2. It's only greater than 2. But 11 is included, so I'm going to put my little equal sign underneath this, this sign. Okay? Oops. So, this is the set notation for this domain when 2 is not included, and that open circle means it's everything up to, but not including that value. Yeah? Uh, well, if, if you are talking about, um, well, there's, I don't know, there's lots of situations, but if, if two, like if this represents your, um, you know, the minimum number of hours that you can spend on something, let's say, and you, you say, your teacher says, you have to spend more than two hours studying for this exam, but you cannot spend, um, you know, you can spend 11 hours studying, but nothing over. So if that's the case, then you would say, okay, I cannot spend two hours. I have to spend more than two hours. So technically, I could spend as close as I want to just over two hours, like 2.00001 hours, right? Or I can spend up to 11 hours inclusive study. So that's an example of where that, you know, you might have that in real life. All right, and the range, real quickly, just to finish this example off, the range is going to be from one... That's going to be inclusive, so I'll put that little equal sign there. I'm dealing with the y value, and I'm not going to include 3, the upper limit. So I do not put the little equal sign there. And that is set notation for the domain and range for this graph right here.